Hello, my name is Ed and I'm here to read you a story. And today the story I'm going to read you is based on a folk tale from Uganda. It's called Give Up Gecko. There is a gecko. I wonder if you know what a gecko is. A gecko is a kind of little lizard thing. And in this story there's lots of African creatures like elephants, hippopotamuses, giraffes, an impala, uh, a rhinoceros. And you know what? The children who live uh, in villages and, and towns in Uganda, they don't see many of these creatures really at all. You might see them if you went way out into the countryside and visited a national park. However, those children might see geckos every day. They're common. You might find them in the house climbing up the walls. I find them rather charming myself. Monkeys too, actually. Monkeys, you see, when I used to go to Uganda a lot, we used to have monkeys actually living in the school grounds, which always caused some fun. There they go. Give up gecko. The story is retold for us by Margaret Reed MacDonald. She's written it out and illustrated by Deborah Melman. So let's jump in. Days and days, and waiting for rain. The animals needed to drink. Let's dig for water, said the animals. The one who finds water can be our chief. All the animals wanted to be the chief. Let's use our tusks, bellowed elephant. Tusks, tusks, shouted the boar. No, let's use our horns, hollered the rhino. Horns, horns, agreed deer. Some animals didn't have horns. Some animals didn't have tusks. Let's stomp, said Hippo. Everybody has feet. Not me, whispered Snake. But the elephant... Animals were already voting. Stomp! Stomp! We will stomp! Me first. Elephant found a good place to dig. And he began. Elephant! Elephant! Heavy! 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 Elephant! Elephant! Stomp! 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 It was hot. Elephant grew tired. Elephant! Elephant! Heavy! 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 Elephant! Elephant! Stomp! 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 Oh, no water here! I give up. My turn, shouted Hippo. Hippo! Hippo! Heavy, heavy, heavy! Hippo! Hippo! Stomp! 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 Hippo churned up the dust. The hole got deeper and deeper. And then Hippo got tired. No water here. I give up. <laughs> rhino, rhino, heavy, heavy, heavy. Rhino, rhino, stomp, stomp, stomp. I give up. <laughs> Buffalo and giraffe and all the big animals took a turn. And all the big animals gave up. So. The middle-sized animals tried. Warthog and the hyena. Well, monkey thought that he could do it. Monkey, monkey, heavy, heavy, heavy. Monkey, monkey, bananas, goodbye. <laughs> and soon the middle-sized animals all gave up. And now the little animals wanted to try. <laughs> the big animals were laughing. <laughs> what can they do? Well, the big animals were right. The little animals didn't have any luck either. Iguana tried. And uh, Rabbit tried. Rabbit! Rabbit! Heavy, heavy, heavy! Rabbit had no patience. Oh, what can a rabbit do? I give up! Nobody can do it, said Elephant. Nobody found water. Let's just go home. And then they heard a tiny voice. I didn't get a turn yet. Let me try. The animals... Looked all around. Where was that tiny voice coming from? It was Gecko. I can do it. Let me try. The animals all started laughing. <laughs> what could a silly animal like a gecko do? Nothing. Let's go home, said Elephant. There's no water here. They are laughing in the ghetto. 
I think you know what's going to happen, don't you? But Gecko had already jumped into the deep, deep hole. Gecko! Gecko! Heavy, heavy, heavy! Gecko! Gecko! Stomp, stomp, stomp! <laughs> Look at that silly little Gecko. He thinks he's heavy. Give up, Gecko! <coughs> Gecko was so embarrassed he turned bright pink all over. Gecko is turning pink, Hippo laughed. Give up, Gecko. They can laugh, I won't give up. Gecko, Gecko, heavy, heavy, heavy. Gecko, Gecko, stomp, stomp, stomp. He stomped for one whole hour. Gecko, Gecko, heavy, heavy, heavy. Gecko, Gecko, stomp, stomp, stomp. And all the animals shouted. Give up, Gecko. Gecko, Gecko, two hours. Give up, Gecko. Gecko, Gecko, three hours. Give up, Gecko. The sun was about to go down and Gecko was still stomping. Suddenly, my toes are wet. Gecko was stomping in water. Gecko, gecko, heavy, heavy, heavy. Gecko, gecko, splash, splash, splash. Mm. Look, there's elephant peering down. And there's the gecko stomping in the water. Out of the way. Elephant threw gecko out of the hole. He began to stomp. Elephant, elephant, heavy, heavy, heavy. Elephant, elephant, stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm the new chief, hollered elephant. I found the water. But all the animals had seen what had happened. Get that elephant out of there, they shouted. Elephant didn't find the water. Gecko did. So Gecko jumped back down into the hole again and all the animals started shouting, Gecko, Gecko, heavy, heavy, heavy. Gecko, Gecko, don't give up. And slowly the water began to rise. It came up to his little knees. And then it came up to his little waist. And it came up to his little neck. Water. The water was spraying all over. Everybody was dancing and singing. Gecko, Gecko, he found the water. Gecko, Gecko, he's the one. <coughs> and the animals built a special house for Gecko. Right by the side of the water. You all help dig, said Gecko. Everyone can share. Yeah, we all help dig, said the animals, but you, Gecko, you were the one who never gave up. And that's the end of the story. There's a picture there. All the animals drinking from the water. I can see the rabbit, chameleon and the hippo. I can see the rhino. I can see the warthog there. I can see Impala drinking from the water. Can you see Gecko? No, 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 there's a snake. There he is, a tiny Gecko in his little house in the rocks right by the water. So there you go, there you have it. That is Give Up Gecko. It's a Ugandan folk story that people have told to their children for many hundreds of years probably, but told for us here today by Margaret Reed MacDonald. Illustrated by Deborah Melman, published, would you believe it, by Amazon. So thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed the story. Goodbye.